Hello and welcome everyone, and I'm back with some more updates for Hades. Today's update is in fact the good times update. I've said update a lot, but anyway, let's move on. I called it, I knew it, I was always going to be right, and it was always going to be him, Dionysus, the god of tits and wine, or at least wine. Hades' iteration of Dionysus is fun. Do you remember that laid-back weed-smoking high school guy from Life is Strange? That's basically who Dionysus is. Here, take a listen. Hey there, Zag Man, how's it going? Look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. Without voice acting and some gorgeous art, it's hard not to take a liking to this debauched fellow. Even when he's angry at Zagreus, he's still a charmer. The upgrades Dionysus brings to the table don't sound like much, but they are really good. The name of the Drunkyard's game is... Drumroll, please! It's D.O.T. damage, that's right, damage over time. And a lot of it, especially with the new weapon, but more on that later. The Dionysus cast Tipsy Shot is awesome. Not only does it do massive amounts of damage in an area of effect, it also leaves a cloud behind which inebriates, stuns enemies standing in it. Granted, the first time I encountered Tipsy Shot, I got the epic variable of it, but the general mechanics of this particular boon are pretty damn awesome. Like with Ares's boon cast, serrated blades, Tipsy Shot's cast won't stick to the enemy, but instead will reform into the cast crystal as soon as its duration is done. Other blessings include a rather cool idea that fits with Dionysus's epicurean nature. Whenever you grab a piece of ambrosia, you are healed for 20 health points. To make things sweeter, if you pick the boon, you get a piece of ambrosia immediately. Ambrosia, for everyone who doesn't know much about Greek mythology, is the fruit of the gods, and as such it is highly sought after in the end world. Of course, as such, Ambrosia comes across rarely enough in the chambers that Zagreus goes through. And I have often been offered this boon later on in my runs, I mean Dionysus's boon, not the Ambrosia itself, at which point a blessing for 20 HP in a single piece of the fruit isn't necessarily the greatest thing you can get. Outside of Dionysus, the Mirror of Night has seen a new addition, and it is wonderful, let me tell you. Actually, it's it's fine. It's called Fated Authority, which allows for a random alteration in the reward that's awaiting Zagreus in the chamber he next steps into. There are also plenty of new pack challenge additions, new rewards as well as new chambers. Just before writing this, I did manage to beat the Hydra with 16 skulls in the Pact of Punishment and unlocked the reward. Feast your eyes on it, if you will. If you dare. Ah, you did it, boyo. Reward's right over there. Hooray, you did it, pal. What I get? Huzzah! What in blazes? I just knew you had it in your pal, enjoying your new prize, pack the punishment, smack the punishment, no problem, know what I mean? Of course, that was just the easy one you got there, pretty sure I could have got that one myself. Wait, just so I understand, I literally toiled through hell and back and my reward is just a statue of you. Don't get me wrong, it's lovely, it's just, I don't know what I expected. Look, boyo. There was a little mix-up when we put in the request for that thing, see? I told him to make something that'll make me look good with my sources, and anyway, that's how it all turned out. The other ones turned out much better, though, you'll see. I'll temper my expectations, just in case. Let's see here. Oh, come on. I need to do what now? Yes, a wordy reward. I'm eventually going to unlock the other ones as well, even though I suck at Hades, I'm getting better at it. Slowly, painfully slowly sometimes it feels like, but it is happening. We're getting there, and with this new weapon especially, I think all Mr. Hydra's number is up. As for these new chambers, they are gatelocked by random requirements about how many skulls you've put into the pact, but whenever you do get into one, the rewards are enhanced. 
For example, I got a uh, centaur, or rather Chiron Heart, and instead of the normal 25 HP to the max, I got 50, which was sweet. It's a brand new layout too, that of those chambers, and the name of this section of Hades is Erebus. It's not a fully fledged thing, this, unlike Tartarus and Nosfotius, but it is really neat, really good looking set of new chambers to fight in. And now, for the new weapon, this magnificent gun built by the Idolus himself and forgotten by history, or so Hades will have us believe, it is fun. It's a bit difficult to get used to, especially if, like me, you've gotten used to the precision of the spear, and the reloading mechanic has punished me more than I would like, mostly because I forget it's there, and then I end up getting that horrible clicking sound that every viewer of Detective Series is intimately familiar with everywhere. The gun's special, or its Q, if you're a mouse and keyboard player like me, is basically an other slow grenade launcher that does the largest area of effect damage in Hades so far, with the possible exception of the aforementioned tipsy shot. It's a fun effect in those moments when the screen is overflowing with enemies, but it's also a bit too slow, on account of just how fast most enemies uh, move around. My offer, either tweak the speed or add more damage. As it is, I use it a bit too rarely, and only in very specific conditions. My prediction for this next patch? Well, on account of conversation about Megara, or is it Megara? I keep messing that up. The fury whose ass I've been whooping regularly for my last 25 runs or so. I was wondering, what was Father carrying on with you about back home? Eavesdropping again. If you must know, my job performance is under review. Though I'm sure this job's about to go just fine. I'm guessing we'll get the other two Furies, and they'll be rotating from now on. All three of them. And I very much expect Thanatus to show up as well. Here comes the Reaper. And yes, this is based on the mysterious shapes in the image released by Supergiant Games to tease this coming patch, airing on March 16th. The Good Times is another really solid update to Hades, in my very inexpert opinion. I'm going to keep digging deeper, trying to learn more about the game and, you know, get good. As the kids say, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, ring a bell, or the police. Thank you for watching, and may the snark be with you. Always. The fear of death keeps mortals well in check. You'd best learn to fear something yourself, you hear me, boy? Fear is for the weak.